What is the truth? We were people are different. Some people will not accept everything from others and trust on themselves to experience things. These people are kind of hard hearted while I call them decided and strong. Some call these people adventurous. This is important to discuss your understanding about something with others and correct yours or accept others' understanding. What is important is fully trust on Jesus. Have a strong faith and to Jesus and the God. Some people pull cognition on the God and Jesus. Don't trust such people because they can put cognition on Jesus to destroy you. In Bible Matthew 4 <coughs> stands that Jesus distracted Satan and that people doesn't put the God in test. Hebronian 3 part 7 If you hear the Holy Spirit, don't be hard, only obey. I pray God that Jesus let me know when you or Holy Spirit talk with me. Amen. The most tragedy in any prophet's life is that people doubted them. Even they saw a lot of miracles. They were hard-hearted. They cannot see God's grace anymore. Soften your heart with God's and Jesus' words, which are full of hope and love and humanities, and find peace in your life and keep your place at God's house. Stay as God's child. Some people think that glory is the materials and physical properties in this world, but the winners are those who search heaven uh, glory. Jesus and God talk with anybody, even sinners. They warn people to stop being unfaithful and warn people about the hell. They talk with their believers how they can defeat demons and evils and be a good teacher to the lost people. Don't be full of sinners, successes in the, this world. It is only in this world which is temporary. Think on eternal life with glory and make God and Jesus pleased and satisfied. The danger is that Satan sends his demons and evils in these churches as members and they try to misguide people. As like as in Bible Matthew, Jesus has warned us about false churches and false and false prophets. You must be aware and avoid them and inform others about pray that you recognize when God and Jesus and Holy Spirit talk with and be happy and honored and obey. It says that it is dangerous to be alone. You need to discuss and ask and answer, but you must find the correct person, otherwise you can be abused and misjudged and your goodness be turned. In the same way that Jesus is your partner, be partner with others. Have a communion. Jesus, you have made me righteous as like as yourself. As like as people told you dummy things and you left them, I do the same. Let me find the correct person or persons who together give you joy. Amen. Stay faithful, strong, lovely, honest, and trust. Jesus will that you teach people to, as like as he learned you. John 5, part 24. Those who believe on me has eternal life. They don't be can only remind in life. John 6, part 37. They God give us give to me. I accept and I don't reject them. Jesus is the most high protector and for him you are a treasure who he is, has you in his arm and protects you. If you are in Jesus, then you are safe and saved. You must feel as Jesus' sheep and recognize his voice. If a wolf will attack, he will strongly scare them to save. If you are lost, he will come to you and let you find the flock. Then live in peace with Jesus and fight to expand Jesus' imperium. And rest in Jesus' success. Hallelujah. Amen. Have faith and trust and believe to be 
a member of a church doesn't rescue you but believe in Jesus with with your whole heart secure you Ebronian 3 part 8 if you honestly trust and believe in Jesus your life is safe and secure he is a faithful guidance and shepherd pray that Jesus let me recognize his voice each time he talks with me amen Ebronian 4 part 14 sometimes you lose your temper and your reaction is not good there are two eyes watching over you one the people who see your reaction and the second but most important is Jesus eyes if your reaction is not correct then you become shame over your behavior if you try to explain your behavior for others and try to find an excuse then you try to find the cover in front of Jesus but if you confess your bad action you become free and forgiven because Jesus knows about our weaknesses then try to learn from your mistakes and become a better person part 16 try to find your grace from Jesus by confessing our mistakes and pray to learn and be a better person from Jesus advice if we don't confess our sin or mistake and try to find excuses, Jesus doesn't like it and we cannot find Jesus' grace. If our mistake or our sin destroy another life, Jesus' anger is over us. If you will be forgiven, so you must confess your crime and approve that you are really sorry and try to pray for that person, victim. Jesus differs between sinners and sins unconscious and those who do it conscious. Those who do unconscious, they, when they realize that it was sin, they, then they can be forgiven if they confess and ask for forgiveness from the heart and don't repeat. But those who sin consciously, they are trying to find excuse to cover their sin in front of Jesus and God, especially in front of others. But Jesus and God know everything and they let others recognize those crimes and they don't people be fooled or victim. In Bible Matthew, if you, your eye sins, then put it away. If your hand sins, throw away. If you sin, then put a heavy heavy stone round your neck and jump in the water. It is better than you send through the fire in the hell. Part 7. It stands that Jesus meet the sinners wisely because he knows about people's weaknesses. It is marvelous that pure and strong Jesus can meet us sinners and forgive us. Other prophets had weaknesses by themselves, therefore they could understand the pain and forgive the sinners. Each time you ask Jesus for a favor, wait until you receive the answer. Don't lose your faith during delay, but it is bad. If you doubt, trust God and Jesus' timing. Always put God and Jesus will in front of you or over your head and trust that it has very great purpose. Isaiah 51 If you drink false drink, it causes your death or illness. Therefore, that drink. John 17 Jesus prayed for his disciples and his believers and the world. The most beautiful is that God sent your glory to the Son so that uh, he can make it a glory and send it to you. John 12, part 27. Jesus' soul was in trouble, but he prayed that God brings glory to his name and a voice spoke from heaven that the glory is already there, means Jesus. He didn't ask God to save him from the cross because it was a part of the plan and Jesus love to the God is so strong that he followed the plan Jesus knew about his authority from the God to defeat death and be raised by, by this Jesus rescued us his believers from the dead this is a part of the plan and Jesus the God's will 
Jesus came as human to learn us how we can obey the God. Jesus felt pain in this world, but his faith to the God made that pain weak. While Jesus knew how people felt and Jesus learns us. Your body is temples. Fill it with God's word and let Jesus form your body in beautiful way by understanding and obey them. Pray that God deliver you from evils and don't put you in temptation. Do not test God by putting a condition on him. Jesus invites us to himself and gives us glory and security and peace. Put your troubles under the cross and ask Jesus to destroy them. Help us to make a glory to send it to you and the God. Amen. As long as a human comes to this world as child and the child gets different nourishment due to the child age, the Christ is reborn and you need proper nourishment to understand and develop your faith. The truth is that love and respect each other. Sometimes you invite people to a religion, but faith. Christ is not a religion, only the way to heaven. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, Jehovah, Svitne, and so on are religion. They put boundaries around you and push you accept their understanding. But Christ given you freely find about the truth and spread it. To obey the commandments give you peace and rest and guidance in the path to heaven. Sometimes during the journey you become lost but you can be saved by Jesus and return to the correct path. If you find yourself between two paths, ask Jesus for help which one you should choose. But if you straight your hand to Jesus each day of life, you wouldn't be lost. Hebronian 5 part 11 Depending on your growth, you can be lost or lose your faith or you learn slowly or your listening be hard. This can be due to the day that you have stopped to grow. Part 12 When you know Jesus enough, then it is time to help others to know him. But you must teach them the beginning and step by step. Part 13. How should we know that a person is an alphabet in the Christianity? Only find out when that person joined Jesus and what is that person's knowledge. Then you can educate properly using correct and strong and valuable voice. Sometimes you must use examples to make people understand. Be humble when you accept the commandments then you get information. Then you obey them, you are mature. If you are legalized, you are not mature. When an, an alphabet person seeks help from Jesus, Jesus helps and lets him to find the God. Jesus helps people with any level of knowledge to believe. You cannot take a belief and justice, but you can receive it. Justice is from the God, based on our belief. Then live healthy and pure to receive God's lovely justice. Hebronians 7 part 2 If you make justice or withdraw God's attention, then you are a child. But if you believe that God puts his justice with the uh, help of Jesus in you, then you are mature. Then you can uh, differ between bad and good. Try to guide people to these two. When you read Bible, you get a knowledge about Christ and the way to live as the same way that you learn alphabets and use them for writing without focusing on the order of alphabets, use the knowledge of Christ to make perfections. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Jesus helps us to do this. Involve always Jesus in any good things you do. Build your life with the help of Jesus because he knows how to construct on the stone, not on sand. Jesus' revelation made us free and mature to praise the God and receive God's grace and glory. Jesus reforms our actions to set us free from the death. 
Jesus educates us the proper lifestyle to have an eternal life. Read the scriptures to learn how our old generations become free, but don't stand in those times. Get knowledge to set you free from mistakes in your time with help of Christ. If you stay on old times, then you lose the knowledges about justice in now time. Seek Jesus for growing in Jesus and Christ. When we adults listen to religious people, how we can defer that their words or milk or meat. I tell that if you are full, then the words were meat. If you feel hungry yet, then the words were milk. If we get only milk, we become hurt easily because our immune is not strong. But if we get meat, we are invulnerable because we are immune. You must also talk about Jesus to others too. Amen.